this driver of chronic disease many times goes undiagnosed. It's not showing up in your blood lab report. Stay tuned and find out what this is. Hello everyone, Dr. Nathan Bryan here, international leader in molecular medicine and nitric oxide biochemistry. Chronic stress is what's leading to the demise and the health of many Americans. And we live in a very stressful world. But you have to remember, it's not what happens to you that determines your outcome. It's how you respond to what happens to you. And chronic stress is a subjective measure. Many times it's undiagnosed in our lab reports. Uh, some people, will, doctors will tell you this is a psychosomatic response and put you on antidepressants and antipsychotic drugs. But we have to remember, stress is a driver of chronic disease. And we look physiologically and biochemically, this can be explained. Because stress is really what we call the fight or flight response. And it's dysautonomia. It's a dysregulation of our autonomic nervous system where the parasympathetic is basically suppressed and parasympathetic is what we call the rest and digest. It's when we heal and recover from injury. Uh, and then the sympathetic is when it's the fight or flight response. So we need to maintain a balance, a balanced autonomic nervous system. But exposure to chronic stress puts people in the fight or flight mode. We burn out our adrenal glands. We see an increase in cortisol. Chronic upregulation of cortisol causes a stress response. And so if when our body is in this fight or flight mode, you know, that's great for acute injury when we're trying to run away from danger uh, and preserve our own life and well-being. But in that chronic mode, it starts to deplete the body of essential hormones, cofactors, uh, dysregulation of nitric oxide production. We get chronic constriction of the blood vessels. This leads to rapid damaging of blood vessels, increase in high blood pressure, and then an advanced progression of cardiovascular disease. So remember, we can't always change the environment in which we live in. We're, we live in a very stressful world. But what we can do is change the way we react to stressful environments. And I made a conscious decision many years ago that if I can't change it or control it, then I don't worry about it. And when you start to think from that perspective, most of the things that most people are stressing about, they can't change it and they have no control over it. So stressing over it and worrying about it is not going to change the situation. So adapt, change your mindset, and don't be a victim of chronic stress that's going to affect your health.